Hey folks, Kathy here with Living Miracle Homestead. I um, want to show you a few things. I had to I had to show you this. This is awesome. Check out all these absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous fruit on this tree. There is sugar apples everywhere. Look at that one. That one's a nice one. Nice size one. It won't be long until these guys are are uh, going to be edible. But I, I, I had to go get my phone because I wanted you guys to see these. I've, I've been standing. I've been sitting here pulling weeds. This is the first time I've been able to do much of anything <clears throat> other than feed animals. And look at at the fruit. See them all? So I thought I'd bring you along while I get me some fruit. Um, although I should probably call David and let him know that we have some fruit ready. He's going to be thrilled. I'll put these in my pocket. Oh my goodness. I know I got to find a way to keep the birds out of there, right? I did not realize there was so many ripe. I, I got a couple off earlier. And then I, I was sitting over there pulling some weeds and I said, I wonder just how many's ripe in there. So I got a little closer and sure enough, there's ripe fruit in here. Um, so, Pretty excited about this. Let's see what I can get on this side. Now some of these are a little bit, um, I'd say that's a little bit dried up. I mean, it's not dry, but it's a little, it's a little not as plump as it should be, and that's because I've not been watering. Because I've been so sick, guys. I don't see anything up here. So I'm going to try to keep my eyes closer down. Look at them all down there. I'm thrilled. Thrilled, thrilled, thrilled. Um, I will be sitting in here and eating my fill. Uh, that was three and one. Three and one. Uh, eating my fill of these. So I'm gonna stop for now because I'm hope I hopefully I can sweet talk David into coming down. And he can get his fill of them tomorrow. We'll see. Ah! Sunday tomorrow, so. I don't know. We'll see. Anyways. Oh, sorry. I need to trim some of these leaves off of this, this tree. And I need to pull them that tomato vine out of there and these tomato vines out of there yep I got work to do and slowly the more I get to feeling better the more I'll be doing and of course Nani's going to start raising cane <laughs> so I only got two eggs uh for some reason, one of my girls ate one of them. One of the big eggs, too. Not very happy about that, but at least I got two, right? 
I think they're mad at me. <laughs> I think they're mad at me. I didn't bring them any treats today. Hmm. Anyways, that's just a little short today. I'm not feeling the greatest, so anyways. Still can't get over how tall that tree has gotten. It amazes me how beautiful that tree has gotten. And I think it has a lot to do with me cleaning all that stuff out from underneath there. I know there's a lot more that's growing there and I've got to get it cleaned out, but uh, yeah. And of course me watering it all the time now too, so. But I'm gonna close with this, my beautiful plumeria. And boy, I'm telling you, I wish you guys had smell -o vision It smells fantabulous. See you next time here on Living Miracle Homestead. Bye now.